Seven years ago, I never would have thought that I would have written multiple books just starting with Master of the Day, traveled to over 60 countries all over the world, built multiple six-figure businesses, become a doctor of acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine, moved to Los Angeles, and go bachata dancing all over the world. But I have, and it taught me a very, very simple thing about life, which is that looking forward, there is always a gap of the things you want to achieve and the kind of person you want to become. But on an inner point of view, sometimes until you do some of those things, you don't realize you could have done them all along. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of Master the Day. I wanna to share today five steps to really creating your dream life. Now the very first step is that you have to have strong reasons to change. All of us know somebody that wants to lose weight and they really mean it, wants to save money or make money and they really mean it, wants to find love or friends and they really mean it, but they do jack diddly squat. So what's the difference between someone who is really out of shape and wants to change, someone who's broke and wants to earn money, someone who's single and wants to find love? Necessity. There has to be a reason to be driven to do that right now because no one's forcing you to change. People have heart attacks every year and they go back to eating the same diet. What determines the difference? There has to be a strong reason to change. You know, at the beginning of my career of self-improvement guy, I was trying to figure out all of these goals in all different parts of life. I wanted to leave my job and work on YouTube stuff. I wanted to build a good friend group and find love and get fit and all this kind of stuff and travel. But it wasn't until I was so unhappy on a daily basis. I just, one day driving into work, I was like, I might as well not be alive. Not that I was suicidal, but my life is so meaningless that I would take poverty doing what I wanted over the 50 or 60K at a full-time job because at least I felt like my life would be worthwhile. Some other people may say, you know what? I could be single for the rest of my life and I'm so sick and tired of wishing I had love or wishing I had someone to travel with or wishing I had someone to spend my evenings with that I'm going to push myself out of my introvert bubble and I'm gonna go out to social events five times a week. There are people who have heart attacks and I have patients who've gotten their legs amputated from diabetes who still eat the same diet. So even in the face of death, many people will not change. So for you, figure it out. What gives you a strong reason to change? Maybe it's not you. Maybe it's you're gonna do it for your mom, but find that thing. Second step is vision. One of the best exercises you can ever do for your life is to find a piece of paper and just take a couple minutes writing out three years from now, let's say three to five things happened. What would make that the best year ever of my life? And just freeform, write it. I'm not saying become billionaire three years, it's not gonna happen, but even if it's just make six figures or have a six figure business, find love, write the first draft of your book, travel to a new country every year, things that make you feel excited about life and you wanna be alive and you wanna live a long life. Think about what those things could be in your three year vision. Because again, just like if you have a strong reason to change, you will even when you don't want to, if you have a strong vision that excites you, you will work towards things you ordinarily were not. When you have a project you're passionate about, you'll work a couple hours on the weekend. You'll work an hour at night because it's more important to you now because it's exciting than watching Netflix for four hours or just scrolling through Instagram videos. Now you're producing Instagram videos. So figuring out what is a vision that excites you and even having any vision about how to grow is more than the average person who doesn't even think about their life and doesn't even think about their goals at all. The third is a strategy. Most people have no necessity for their goals to happen now. They have no vision and therefore they have no strategy. The difference between saying, I want to build an online business that makes 60K. If I could just make 60 or 50K, I could leave my job and I could spend all day doing what I love, right? That's a vision. The strategy is what you do on a daily basis. So when I was building my first business, which is Modern Health Monk, and when I was trying to improve my life, I figured that's the vision. I just wanna make enough to live. If I can make like 3,300 a month and just quit my day job, I could do this in half the day and spend the other half the day doing whatever I wanted. That would be a pretty awesome life. The strategy became, I'm gonna work two or three hours every night and then three hours every single weekend building my business. So my vision was make 50K and leave my job so I could work on a passionate business. And the strategy was two to three hours every single night Learning about YouTube for one hour a night, learning about business for one hour a night, and executing one hour a night. That's a strategy that will make your goals and dreams happen. The fourth part is daily rituals. I sort of just hinted at it in the last part here, but you have a vision of what you want, and you have a strong reason to do it now, as opposed to wait until you're 40. But now you have a plan of attack, and ultimately it comes down to what are you doing today and every day to actually make that happen. It is not easy. 
to build a business or to shoot YouTube videos when you have a full-time job. Anyone who tells you that is a liar. It's easy to come home, sit on the couch, eat a bunch of Doritos, and do nothing. But if you had to think about the daily rituals that are likely to make that happen, coming home and journaling about your business strategy, coming home and figuring out what communities you wanna to join to make new friends or try to find love again, coming home and actually hiring a coach to work with you personally. These kinds of things are all things that are concrete rituals that will make a big difference in your life. And the question I like to pose to coaching clients is, if there are three rituals you could do, or if you're really time-strapped and you're a parent and you have a full-time job and you have kids, what is just one? If you decide that being a YouTuber is your thing, it may be, I'm gonna spend 30 minutes studying YouTube a day, and then 30 minutes creating content a day. And you do that seven days a week. That is already more clear of a plan than 99.9% .9 of humanity has for their own life. And the fifth step is reflection. Why do most people's lives never change? In my opinion, it's just one thing at the foundation, which is that people really just don't think or reflect. I mean, the average person may be around the New Year's reflecting for a second, like an hour. Oh, my New Year goals are get fit and be nice to have a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. And you know, I need to quit my job, kind of sucks. And that's it. They don't write it down. They don't think about it. They don't ever have the discussion again. There's definitely no vision, strategy, or rituals behind it. And just going from someone who sits down and thinks, you know, last year I said I was going to work on having a better friend group and I was going to try to get a new job and a raise. What didn't happen? Oh, you know, I said I was going to try to make new friends, but I didn't even reach out to anyone on a weekly basis. I said I was going to get a new job, but I applied for like four jobs in a year. So I really wasn't consistent. And maybe if I just applied to one job a night, when I was bored watching Netflix, maybe after three months I could have had one after a hundred applications. The ritual of reflection is something that is not common and is something that I think is so simple and so underrated, but if you just reflect often, you will make progress naturally. Now I'm really excited about something new that I'm launching here. Typically every year I take on two or three coaching clients. It's kind of like a 10X your life and launch your online business program. And what I do is I work with two or three people over the course of three to 12 months, you and me on a one-to-one -one call every other week, and we go over sort of like a 12-month curriculum I've put together on vision, strategy, purpose, and the execution of your goals and your dreams. I personally spend $10,000 a year on a coach, a shocking number to admit out loud. And that is one of the things that has made the singular difference between this year's for sure gonna be the same, I'm just not real with myself, versus holy crap, those six or 12 months I made unbelievable progress and the difference was having a coach so i'm in the process of taking on new applications for this year for the two or three people i'm going to work with it's obviously very limited it's also a premium coaching program but if this is something that appeals to you guys check it out and apply because it's going to be first come first serve and i would love to work with someone one-to-one -to, -one to make this the best year ever of their life check it out down there below you can apply and before you guys go i have another related video on really how to design your dream life, and it's right here.